Anyway. Yeah, I'm getting out of the tub. <laughs> I'm getting out of the tub. And I just wanted to show off my body. And um, I want to talk about something real. But first I wanted to <laughs> anyway, let's get into the download. I don't want to do that. <laughs> All right, so I wanted to make this video. It's a serious video, right? Very serious, very serious. It's a reality check, really. And I'm gonna put it right here, hold on. You see, I look good to be 43. Be funny. Um, so yeah, we're about to get into this download. I wanted to talk and have a real nigga moment with y'all. Can't show y'all the print, I'm naked. Now, maybe some of y'all hope the phone maybe falls or something. But you know what it is. This is what I'm gonna talk about. Smart people got big foreheads. <laughs> first things first. I want to talk about the nature of man and what nature is. Because we don't have a good idea of what that is. And I want to talk about it. First, let me put my robe on. Bring in more water? Yes. Okay. I want to talk about violence. Let's talk about violence. Right. I'm not going to let you talk and put negative things inside my subconscious. It's not going to happen. So if you say something negative, I'm going to block you. So, we're going to have a real reality check. I'm going to say some things that most of you aren't going to pretty much grasp, but I thought I would put it out there as a frequency of thought in the field. Um, I feel like it's necessary. My thoughts are necessary. The way I think is necessary to be out there, even though it'll get you blocked. I just feel like it's necessary for it to be out there, these thoughts. So I'm gonna talk about it. Talk about violence. Let's talk about the nature of man. Let's talk about, let's have a reality check, right? Hearing a lot of violent talks from people, from the bots. So I'm gonna set you up right here. I'm gonna put my my robe on. Right. And we're gonna have a real nigga moment. Not a real nigga moment, but we're gonna have a reality check. Right now. We're gonna do a reality check, right? The nature of a man of humans, we're monkeys, we're animals. If you didn't know, we're animals. The nature of a man is to be dominant is to control his environment. Now I know you are saying that violence is not good, but all throughout nature is violence. Crocodile hunting. Follow this page called The Dark Side of Nature. Violence all throughout nature, and it's all in perspective. But we sit in this sort of peace 
surrounded by violence, the government that you uh, call when you see something violent are the most violent people. I mean, there's you're surrounded by tanks and guns and enforcement and violence. Violence is the driving force of man. Man's nature is to be dominant. And I know a lot of y'all are like, oh, he's trying to justify abusing people. I'm just trying to let you understand that violence is human nature, right? Number one, right? Um, violence is all throughout your movies. It is all throughout everything in your life. It's in the back set of your life. You just don't realize it because you're asleep and you're in the matrix. You're asleep, you're in a matrix, and you, you live in this peaceful world when everything is non-violent, and if you see violence, it's very rare. It's like, oh, oh my God. You couldn't be in nature where killing and violence is very natural in your body. The immune system's in your cell. It's violence going on throughout nature. This is what is. This is the science of the nature of what is. Men. True men, not the men that you're dealing with, are violent, dominant. The nature of a man is to control. That's his nature. To dominate. The more testosterone a man has, and I don't care how he goes about doing it, he might be a manipulator, a smooth talker, like the nigga that Terry you fucking with. He might just fuck your head up, talk, do, 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 do. but in the end, there will be violence and there will be no control or dominance without violence. And this is something that, it's just a wake up call to show you like what's going on in the real world. This is why I fucks with the hood. I fucks with the hood. Bring me my, um, bring me my God hat. I wanna put the God hat on. This is why I fucks with the hood, because the hood, uh, it's like reality. Like the hood is like violent. You know what I'm saying? The hood don't give a fuck about Megan getting shot in the foot. I'm thankful, baby. The hood do not care about Megan getting shot in the foot. Um, all throughout hip hop is violence. To women, to children, that's just how men are. In indigenous tribes, we ate people in our indigenous tribes. Like reality, we don't live in a reality. We don't live in a reality. Throughout hip hop, you got Biggie saying shit like, we'll kidnap your kids, fuck them in the ass and throw them over the bridge. Kick in the doorway in the fourth floor. All you heard was Papa, don't hit me no more. I treat you right, you act up, I beat you right. Just me and my bitch. So when I look out the window, I see my polo and Timbo's. All throughout hip hop, you're gonna hear the warriorship of, this is why I love the hood, because the hood is about that violence. It's about control, it's about dominating. You got this hood over here that rules this area. You can't even go into that area because it's gorilla shit going on. It's real shit going on. Uh, Megan Thee Stallion, in, on, on a natural tip, she invokes this masculine um, bravado, this masculine bravado, and then when some masculine shit happened, when some real nigga shit happened to her, then it was crying in tears. The woman of today, they provoke this masculine energy, and then when something happened, they in tears, and they go to the police who have nothing to do with our tribal uh, happenings. And in the streets, you don't go to police. You don't talk to police. We deal with each other, we deal with each other like we did before the colonizer came with your family. If you had a beef with Tory Lane, you go get your niggas and your niggas see his niggas and it be war. We never involved calling some third party to help us for what? For what? We never did that. That's not that's not what we did. That's not a natural thing. So we dealt with things like, yo, you had to have family. You had to have brothers and cousins and they go handle business. They be at war with with with, with your cousins and your mans and them and then they swab it out how it swab it out. That's how it happened. 
right? So, violence is a part of nature. So if you hear anything about violence coming from carbonation, I heard stories, you know, just put it out there. Ain't nothing wrong with my daughter. I'll protect my daughter at all times. Not that it's none of your business. Um, the book, was, I heard the story of, oh, Nana, I'm beating on Nana and, the, and, the, and, the, and, the, and that she'll put the baby up to protect her and I'm beating on it. That's bullshit, nigga. Just, just to throw that out there, that's, that was extreme. I was listening to that shit like, what, nigga? Get the fuck out of here. But anyway, I get it. Selling a book, you gotta make it juicy. Niggas was only here two, three weeks, you gotta make it juicy. But here's the thing, it's none of your fucking business what I'm doing, I'm a dominant male. I'm out of my fucking business. People lying on me, juicing it up so they can get, they can get, you know, brownie or whatever, money back or whatever they wanna do, it don't matter. Um, only thing that matters is that y'all niggas is fake as fuck. Y'all don't understand nature. You don't understand real life. You don't understand that shit is violent. The police come and do violent shit and y'all still call the police. But who do you call on the police? Nobody. You protest and then they get more violent and they dominate you. They control you. So I don't care if a nigga talking slick and, 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 and talk about black unity. Nigga, we was always killing each other. Niggas have been killing each other before the white man came. We've been warring with tribes, been warring with tribes way before, because it's man's nature. It's violent, it's dominant, it's a control. Man's nature, the more testosterone you have, the more dominant you want to be. And the more dominant you are, you want to dominate with knowledge. You want to be smart. You want to dominate with knowledge physically. You want to put fear in people. And, 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 and yeah, my outlaw and, and righteousness and morality is all second nature to our primitive nature. Yes, you want to create a society where there's morals and values and you want to sustain life, but it doesn't happen without violence. A nigga act up and break those rules, you're supposed to break that nigga ass. And that's just how it goes for me. It has to be discipline. I mean, the society of a cult you live in, you call this a cult, but the cult you live in, it's funny how people call me a cult. Cause I'm, cause I choose to live as a dominant male and this is my life and my shit. And niggas don't, niggas are programmed to go against that because they have made y'all docile to the point where anybody that displays any kind of dominant or leader or know who the fuck they are, if they display any kind of that behavior, they have these bots that are set up to take a nigga down like, and go call the police and try to find a case. Can you believe it? Yeah. So the dominant black male is, since the war on drugs, since the gym, since the, uh, the uh, Willie Lynch theorem, the dominant black male has always been a threat and an enemy to the system and status quo. So, so, now they have not only made the men docile, but they made the woman masculine and gave them a full sense of power, which uses them as a weapon so that if you even try to buck up, she gonna call the white man who dominates his area and his environment, which which is very important for you to lead as a man. If you're in, uh, um, in an environment like the United States of America and you're a black man, you shouldn't be there because you're going to be emasculated. And you could play the game where you're like, oh, I protect black women and all that. Black women are dominating you men. They dominate you. You cannot be a man and dominate your environment in America. It's not gonna happen. If you get caught doing that, then either you have to be work, sell your soul to that system where they have control over you, just in case you do anything that they don't want you to do, they can, through the media, kill you or you know set you up and defame you or something like that. But no, you're not allowed to be a dominant black male at all. That's not happening. So the women have been given this false sense of power and they're trying to protect their ego so any dominant black male that displays any kind of dominance, control, violence, any kind of any kind of control that black woman 
the, and, and a lot of the black men that they made, because the black woman, they, they programmed the black woman, they programmed her, they programmed her children, and so these children go to be grown men, and these grown men are bitch niggas, and they're, they're beta males, they birthed beta males because they were not allowed, they locked all the alpha males away, so when a woman sleeps with a beta male, she will only create a beta baby. So your children are degenerates, and they grow up to be men that are docile. These niggas are docile, and they try to protect, and they're gonna protect their mothers. And this is how the system is set up. It's set up that they turn the female against the male by giving her a false sense of power, by making the playing field easy, even. You are not equal to me. I'm a man, I dominate and control all of this shit. But they have given you an equal plane in their field and said, you have equal rights. This is how they keep us divided. You have equal rights. Now the woman takes on the role of the man and no longer needs her man keeping us divided. So now we have these females that are using their femininity as a woman, as they act as a man, but they're using their femininity to manipulate and empower themselves to advance themselves in surviving within the system. And the shit is bullshit if you don't see through it. It's bullshit if you don't see through it. You got these masculine females that have been falsely empowered by a system that wants to keep us divided and yet united because you can't unite if you don't know your role as a woman and you don't know your nature as a man. The man's nature is to dominate and control his environment, his family, and everything that he can own and touch. It is his nature. And they have stripped us of that nature during the war on drugs especially. When the dominant male, when it was DMX, we was out here, we was rough, we was in resistance, we were dominant, we was going to get that money, we was hustling. Oh, no, 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 no. No, they can't have that now. Nowadays, they have dumped it all down, made it all docile. And now they have, by doing this, what they did was give the woman these rights where the woman can be like, yo, nigga, like, it don't matter what you build, nigga, I'm taking half. For instance, Dr. Dre. Dr. Dre built his whole empire. His wife that divorced him is literally asking for $2 million a motherfucking month. We know he's a billionaire. He worked hard with his own mind. And a woman came along and took has taken two million a fucking month from him. That's what she's asking for in child support. Two million a month. They will emasculate the man, and rightfully so, don't get me wrong. The only men that have power are the men that are above the law in this society. These are the real men. They dominate. The niggas. When you call the police, the police are the security for these niggas. They, they're beyond tax brackets. They're beyond the shit that you live in. They're the men that run the society that we live in are only laws that they have are the laws of nature, nigga. And that's the only thing that govern them. They dominate the area. When you call the police, you're calling the security, their security that they have set up to enforce that anything that goes in resistance to what they built gets annihilated and put in a prison and blocked out of this environment so they can create the environment they want. Meanwhile, they're the most violent people on this planet. They're, they're going over taking whatever they want. They're dominating. They're in control of you. But you live in a fantasy world within this matrix. And when you look in that nature, you're like, oh, he did this. He hit woman. He did this. Nigga, they came here and literally, do you know the country that you live in and the benefits that you sit in are because of extreme violence? To this day, do you know what kind of raping and pillaging the niggas had to do to establish this place that you sit here and call the cops conveniently as if the cops are your friend? No, nigga, we all in the same barrel and you're trying to take down a, your own man who is actually trying to wake up and become dominant and strong in himself and dominate his environment, his woman, his child, his environment. He's waking up and they have you so brainwashed 
that you think things are supposed to be all peace and any do you think that things oh violence you see violence all throughout your movies in the back set of your life and the back set of your life is violence when y'all start acting up and protesting what happens they bring their security in to control you because they're dominant and that's the male's nature period i don't care if you don't understand that go watch shaka zulu Go watch Shaka Zulu. Violence is a part of man's nature. And we did not care about women nor children. Actually, in the Bible, we killed the firstborn if we wanted to. We killed children. Men killed children. We killed them. We raped women. We did what we wanted. The niggas that own this shit do what the fuck they want. There was no law. They set the law up for you to sit inside of their matrix and you walk around like little sins. And you see violence and you report it. You say, oh, look what he did. Look what he did. Not realizing that you're a part of it, dickhead. You're in it on it too. Sadly, but it's true. It's the truth. I'm just giving you a reality check. And all the men out there that um, are dominant males and you start to be a part of society so much that you forget your, that you're a man and you are, and so, so many men become emasculated and to survive, they conform and adapt to the fuckery. I tell you today to separate yourself because their day is ending and prepare and Prepare and set yourself up to be ready to dominate. Because once the system falls, there will be mayhem. There will be violence. You're going to understand why you need a man. You're going to understand the nature of man. But you sit in your little comfort little home in your little zoo environment and your fake ass environment and do not understand nature you don't understand nature nature is violent nigga i know i sound like an idiot to an idiot but go watch shaka zulu these were african tribes fighting against each other dominating each other the cells in your body is fighting off diseases. There's violence going on all around you. You just don't see it because, oh, you, you in the matrix, you're asleep. You call 911 as if they're your friend, Hassan. Why you call 911 as if they're your friend? Black man, don't you call 911 for? You call it 911, bro, for what? They're against you. You are you are you are the resistance in their system. If I build something, right? And rightfully so, white men have every right as men to dominate their jurisdiction in every way. Mentally, they mind fuck you. They mind fuck you. They make you think that everything is peaceful and they're giving you what you want and you're electing and you have a choice. Whether they mind fuck you, like Mr. York's sons, mind fucking the Terry. And they peace talk you to death and make you feel like you're in control and really they're manipulating you. Or they straight out Straight out tell you the truth, nigga, fuck you. Lay down and get down and lay down, nigga. Either way, man's nature is to control and to manipulate you. And until you realize the reality of the nature of things, how things truly are, where you have to really live in reality and take the veil off your eyes and reveal truth. But like I said to an idiot and stupid people, I sound stupid. I'm a crazy man. But I still want to put this out into the magnetic field of today. I think the truth should be said, whether we know it or not. I think it's important. If you think it's important, press one. If you think that the truth, regardless if people don't want to hear it, the truth speaker has no friends. I'm not going to tell you what you want. 
I'm not gonna care about a woman's rights. You have the right to be a woman. Do you know what that means? That means to be the, the, fem the feminine aspect of the human being, which means to allow your man to dominate and to be agreeance with your man and work with your man, not against him, but you're working against him. So you're actually playing as a man and, the, and he's a man and is keeping us divided. And now niggas is playing games, niggas is trying to dominate, and black men are waking up. I don't know if you don't see it, they're connected to nature, they're becoming dominant, they're buying land. Why do you think they're buying land? So they can dominate their area and they have rights and motherfuckers can't, you can't, niggas is catching on, niggas is getting smart. A lot of motherfuckers is waking up. Y'all not catching the signals, it's okay. I still feel like it's necessary. I still feel like it's necessary that truth be spoken out on this internet, that it may touch whoever vibrates to it. I think that uh, we're very few and in between. Someone's gonna tell you the absolute truth about what's going on. And um, I think it's necessary, you feel what I'm saying? Um, people get so caught up on your business and they hear about the things that's going on in your life. Nigga, I'm a savage. I'm a gorilla. I'm a fucking gorilla. I'm a dominant black male. They put men like me in prison. You know why? Because I create resistance and I have influence over other black males that might want to dominate the area with me. Like on Planet of the Apes. Avatar. So for them to come and colonize here, they had to dominate the dominance here. So they used the, the what is it, the Willie Lynch theorem. Um, if you watch Planet of the Apes, that's the whole thing right there. The whole thing, the Planet of the Apes are black men. That's what the apes are. Caesar is the leader of black and niggas, period. They look at it as monkeys. They are calling us monkeys. They put us in cages, we break out the prisons, and we take over the planet. I mean, planet of the apes. I mean, just think about it. If you don't understand it, you retard it. You don't see it. Right? That's their worst fear is that we unite and come together and dominate. We become like Caesar. Get them green eyes. Go out into the green. That's their worst fear because they want to keep control of their environment and rightfully so because this is monkey business. We're monkeys, we're animals, come on. I, I respect the laws and the jurisdiction of the monkeys here. I look at men as monkeys with their guns, things, whatever makes them be able to have control, they're gonna use it because that's their nature. So I respect it. That's why I go off into the jungle. The earth belongs to the black man. We go off in the jungle with my wives. I'm gonna dominate my area, I'm gonna dominate my wives, I'm gonna dominate my child, I'm gonna dominate everything around me because it's my, it's my right as a human entity, as a male human, to actually dominate my environment. Now, does that mean to abuse? I'm not abusing anything. We got that mixed up and misconstrued. I'm not gonna abuse anything that belongs to me because if I abuse what belongs to me, then I'm abusing myself and what I'm doing. Therefore, I'm working against myself. I can't do that. I have, it's, it's a difference between abuse and discipline. It must be discipline. There must be law, order, and structure in my environment. And I must have complete control of my environment. And people need to understand I'm the leader and that's it. That's it. I run this shit. What I say goes. If you don't like it, hit the dough. So at the end of the day, the people that are around me know I am the dominant male here. I'm the alpha. I am the alpha silverback gorilla here. I am the alpha. I'm not into abusing anybody, but I will discipline anybody around my life because I discipline me and you, you will be disciplined as well. And if you don't like the discipline, then you can kick rocks. But you will. You will conform to some man's control. You will be controlled by somebody. And it is what it is. We're just ahead of, ahead of what's coming. So I left the jurisdiction. I didn't agree with the United States. I left the jurisdiction. So I don't have to worry about it. Well, kind of. I'm in the jungle. I'm in the jungle. Put it like that. Um, we off grid. So we going off grid. We doing my own thing and I got people that's trying to betray me because they don't, you know what I'm saying? Like these niggas don't understand the streets. They don't understand real. That's why I love the hood because the hood understand that that monkey 
See, the hood, like Pac said, we America's babies. We're only doing what America's doing. We want the same rights as those men to have the dominance over our, we want, that's what we ask. We ask for equal rights. We're asking for the rights to be a man. To dominate our, to have our own land, to have our own laws, to have to 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 to, to police ourselves. That's what the Black Panthers was about. To police ourselves and dominate our own stuff. That's what Pewee uh, Pewee Hewton was about. You know what I'm saying? You know we was we was fighting for be our own police. To so you can't police us. We police our own neighborhoods. We're gonna police our own shit. We're gonna be independent. This is what Marcus Garvey was about. Marcus Garvey was like, all right, everybody get on this boat. We all going back to Africa. We gonna get our own land set up, our own jurisdiction, our own laws, and do what we do. And we ain't gotta worry about nobody. We going back to Africa. That's what, that's what it was all about. And it's always been about that. And the black man is waking back up. And he thinks like, oh, well, if I get a whole bunch of money, then I can own land. And then I can, you know what I'm saying, get guns to protect that land. And that's wise. Because men are violent. You have to protect your, your family. You have to protect you. This is why the amendments were set up like that. Because you have to protect yourself. That's why you have a gun law. You, 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 you have the right to bear arms to protect yourself. You have that right in the amendments. That's The amendments, if you look at them, they actually uh, promote human rights. Like real human rights, the laws of nature. They actually real good laws into the legislations in between it, they, they, they twisted it up. And you know they defiled those laws and those amendments. But those amendments are great. They, a man minds his fucking business. A man is allowed to hunt. A man is allowed to protect himself with, with, with a weapon. Because man is violent. So then now is the time to do it yourself, to get your land, to get your weapons, to get everything protected around you. Now it's time to man up, to get your group, to, 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 this is the time to, you know, get your land, inherit that land. This is the time for us to understand the nature of man is to be violent. We must protect what we have. We're not looking for no trouble, but we ain't putting it up with no shit. That's the motto. We're not looking for trouble, but we ain't putting up with no shit. That's how nature do, right? You walk into a bed of ants. The, the ants was not attacking you. But if you step on their bed, their bed, or you step on their house, they're going to sacrifice their little ass body violently. They're going to bite the shit out of you until you get the fuck away from them. They're going to protect what's theirs. This is nature. You go into the mountain and you see gorillas. If you don't have the right etiquette, the will are going to show you that nigga, you better respect my fucking space. And that's nature. No one's looking for trouble but ain't nobody putting up with no shit. And that's how we need to be and model ourselves after nature and, 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 not, and not get used to this thing where it's supposed to be non-violent, non-violent. That's bullshit, man is violent, okay? Um, but man can be violent. I think that we use violence in a positive way. We use it in a way where we use it as discipline rather than to uh, murder and and, and meaningless, meaninglessly kill each other. I think that the Ten Commandments, I think that the 42 laws of Mayat is once you have your civilization set up, you wanna give people laws that they live by and then you wanna police those laws and enforce those laws as men. And so you can have a peaceful environment that must be policing. You know why there's policing? To ensure that you follow those laws and enforce those laws. So men will always be violent Men will always try to dominate, and the most smartest man, not the most biggest nigga, not the most quickest nigga, but the most wisest man will always be the alpha. When you go to prison, the nigga that's running shit ain't the biggest nigga. More, more times than 10, it's the smartest nigga. It's the nigga with the most heart with the most morale, the nigga that can speak and 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 be uh, and come with up with solutions in times of need, one that can provide uh, resources as far as, you know, what we can do, ideas to come up with. This is the alpha. The alpha is the most wisest. The alpha is the one that knows how to speak the heart of his people and to get them to motivate, to move the other men to move. So. You know, there's a lot of people 
that follow me that's in the hood. You would never know my, my, my army because my army has not, it's forming, but it's not with me right now. You might see the dudes that's with me right now. You might be like, yo, them niggas is weak. Yo, but I tell you right now, I got real warriors watching me. I speak the heart of every black man, true, truly every black man out there. Everybody that's really in touch with self, that really starts to put down this white supremacy, that starts to tap into nature. I speak the heart of every real man out there. And believe me, my army is not formed, but it will form when, this, when it starts to shut down. We will unite, we will come together like Voltron. And it's gonna be a beautiful thing, but it's all a process and we're all coming into it. But the fake niggas that was on that team with, uh, where they was trying to bring a nigga down because they didn't understand, I forgive you. I forgive you because I know you do not understand uh, and you wild sleep, you feel me? But if you ever threaten my family, come near my family, I will kill you. That's not a threat, that's a promise. If you ever try to harm me, because I got threats. I got threats uh, from my, from, from people online that they wanna, if you come to harm me or my family, I will kill you, period. That's it, it's a, it's, 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 a, it's a gorilla thing. I will protect my family at all costs. You will not threaten me or my family. You come near me and I'm going to kill you, period. Period, that's it. I, I, I pray for the day one of you niggas run up on me because I would, I just see myself as an immune system cell and y'all niggas is cancers. And I feel like it's my duty to fight my natural enemy. Anybody that is against what I stand for, if you run up on me, I'm willing to die for my family and what I believe in. If you try to harm me or my family, I'm not going to harm you. I'm not going to harm anyone as long as they don't violate me. I'm not looking for trouble. I would rather unite, put our heads together, bring our resources together and work together. That's my vibe. But if you come up on me and and we ever meet and you, I'm going to try my best to kill you. So you better kill me. And I just, that's my, that's my mind state. So I'm a, I'm gonna always protect my family. You're not gonna take my daughter from me. You're not gonna do anything to my family. You're not gonna harm me. You're not gonna do any of that to me. Just letting you know that. Unless you got a whole bunch of guns like the police, they pull up, hey, I can't fight the police. Hey, you got it. I surrender, let's talk it out. Ooh, I ain't stupid. Cause I'm gonna get out anyway cause I ain't did nothing illegal. Um, but if you just a regular degular dude that comes up on me and you wanna you better, you, you better be ready. I'll just tell you that, you better be ready. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm not playing with none of that. Like I'm, I'm definitely not playing with none of that. I will kill you with my hands and I'm not playing. Like, and it is what it is. And when this system falls and it will fall, we will be out here without law of that system. And then it will be man to man. There will be tribe to tribe. Then it will be, yeah, yeah. Then we can talk real shit. But most of y'all niggas online talking about me, watching me, are uh, pussy niggas. Like, put, real niggas don't even do that. Like, I'm such a real nigga that I'm, it is foreign to me to hear people talk about my life all day and gossip and shit. Like, that's not what real niggas do. If I have a problem with you, I come to you and handle it. Like, I, if I had a problem with you, I'm not gonna wait till I leave this motherfucker to tell you anything. I'm gonna tell you to your face. I'm not gonna wait to get online and snitch on you. Little niggas don't move like that. I'm gonna tell you straight up to your face and be real with you. They talk about July 14th, July 4th. They said, yo, you beat Nana down. Okay, so why on July 5th or the same night of July 4th, you didn't leave? Why you stay after that? Question. If you witness me hit a child, why didn't you call the cops as a man? Because it was men that said I did. So if you witnessed all of this, why didn't you do your job? Why you wait to leave and then snitch me out? Like, oh yeah, then he did this, then he did that. But wait, 
If I did that on July 4th, why would you stay with me? That means I didn't do something that you didn't like and then you put me on blast. And that ain't that, ain't that like a nigga that do crime with you? Do a crime with you and then when he don't like you, they use it against you like, oh yeah, then he did this, then he did that. Well, just because you couldn't get what you wanted from me, now you gonna go try to snitch me out on some shit, like allegedly? Come on, man. Y'all niggas can't see through this shit? I mean, think about that. If I'm against the shit you're doing, why would I stay there so long? And the only reason why I left is because you violated me at some time. When it, when, it, when it came to me, then I had to leave. Then I had to snitch out everything you did. Come the fuck on. If I'm crazy, they, these people are as crazy as me because they stayed right the fuck there. And hold them responsible. Stop putting everything on Nature Boy. Nature Boy ain't perfect. I'm a gorilla. I'm a savage. I'm a wild man. I'm a wild dominant man. I'm a savage. But don't put it all on me, my nigga. Hold these niggas responsible. Like, yo, my nigga, like, if you seen that was wrong, you just as fucked up. You stayed with these niggas. The only reason why you left is because of some violation that happened to you. You didn't leave because of some violation that happened to someone else. You left because you didn't get along with it. You ain't get what you wanted from the nigga. And then you left and then you try to snitch the nigga out. Get the fuck out of here. You foul as this nigga. Hold them responsible. You was just as foul as that nigga is. And you telling on yourself, pussy. That's how real niggas think. I'ma put this shit together, you know what I'm saying? And be like, if I'm, if I'm, cause I put it, I put myself on the other end. And I'm looking at the book and I'm like, my nigga, why are you stitching them out now? Like, why you, if you seen him hit a child, why the fuck would you stay? I would have left. I would have left and then called the authorities like y'all do, y'all call the police. Why wasn't none of that there? Like, why did, how could you stay after that? Oh, you see me beat down Nana. You sat there in a circle and then you went to sleep with us for months after, a month after, a weeks after. Nigga, I'm out. If I don't fuck with you, I'm not staying. I'm not, you know, you, she left. She left. So I'm, I'm not, at any time you could leave. So why you mean just leave on July 5th? If you've seen something on July 4th, how could you stay all the way to October or August? How could you stay all, cause bitch, you was with it. And the only reason why you are snitching on stuff and hyping it up is because you couldn't get what you wanted out the fucking deal. Stupid ass. Anybody that with any kind of sense can see that. So these niggas is just as evil as me because they sat there and was a company to what they said they seen. So at the end of the day, nigga, whoa, why didn't you, why didn't you do something about it? I didn't. The most I can do is write a book and get money off of it. Fuck out of here, nigga. Snitch. You a fucking snitch. You snitch a nigga whole life out. Not to say what they saying, that should be hyping everything up that they say to make it, to make views. It's not gonna sell if it ain't hype. It's hyped. You know what I'm saying? So, it is what it is, y'all. You know what I'm saying? All niggas gonna do is send a system to me, because they the system. You want the white man to do your job. Because you're a part of that system, you're a part of that system. You're an American. What you do is why you call the police. Oh, we need to get child services. Uh, and what you need to do is handle your business. If you got a problem with me, come, come, come handle your business yourself. Handle your fucking business yourself. Stop calling the cops. That's what I'm saying. Like, if these are real niggas, I'll be dealt with. I'm walking through Atlanta, real gangster niggas, if they got a problem, a, a gangster nigga ain't gonna fuck with you unless you fucking with his money or his family, period. Niggas all in these feelings and shit. Listen, the point I'm making right now is this. Don't be so sensitive when it comes to violence because violence is a part of human nature. It's all throughout nature. Violence is all throughout nature. We don't want to see it. We live in a world where we don't want to like the, oh, Veganism, oh, don't eat the animals. We overeat animals, we overdo it, but you're supposed to eat animals, you're supposed to eat animals. That's part of nature, you're supposed to eat it, but you ain't supposed to eat so much of it. You're supposed to eat veggies and fruit, but you're supposed to eat fish. You're supposed to go out and hunt. You're supposed to eat, eat what you can. Eat what you can't eat. Everything is transformed. All life, nothing dies. All is transformed. Nothing dies. Everything is a dream and everything is sleeping. 
when you die, this is why I'm not afraid of death, because I already died. I realized like life is a dream. And when you die, you wake up. So at the end of the day, you you you, you understand, I'm not afraid of death. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. So these weirdo niggas that's zooming in on my life and getting all emotional about it. My nigga, zoom out and, get, and pay attention to your life, my nigga. You're not doing nothing. You can't do nothing. You're not gonna run up on me. You're not gonna do shit to me. You know what I'm saying? So, shut the fuck up. Go get money. Go get some land. Prepare for what's about to come. Your real enemy <laughs> is spraying you, poisoning you, keeping you docile, trying to stay control of their environment. I'm not your enemy, nigga. I'm not your enemy. I'm your friend. I'm your most high. I'm not the enemy. I'm not your natural enemy. You are not looking at your enemy. <laughs> I'm the zenith of what we are. You better go watch Shaka Zulu. You better go watch Shaka Zulu. Black men, all that gangster shit. Yeah, that's what we are. We were warriors. That's what we did. We've been killing each other. Over land, over space, over resources. Black men have been doing that way before white people came along. We were very... Very dominant. We had tribes. Go watch. Go watch it. It was no joke. We never was a joke. We actually got docile down. All the real niggas is in prison. That's why prison is such a hostile place. Because all that spirit of warriorship, they was able to put it in cages. That's why prison is a dangerous place. Because all the dominant energy is there. All the warriors is there. And it is what it is. You know? Y'all live in a safe little environment where you can go online and talk trash about each other and not realizing you're within the system that's keeping you down and your people down. And when you call the cops on a black man, you're actually working for their agenda to keep you divided. What, what do I know? Okay. You got a problem with a black man, you address him. You got a problem with somebody, you address him yourself. You never get involved, the government. You don't get the government involved, you dress for yourself, period. That's what real niggas do. If you didn't know that, I don't know what to tell you, but this has been another reality check. Just the nature of a man is <clears throat> to control, dominate, and by any means necessary, especially violence. With that being said, I love myself. Share the video with a real nigga. And don't be afraid to be different. Don't be afraid. If there's 10 niggas around you, and you're the 11th nigga, stand up and be real. Grab your balls and be like, yo, I fuck with this nigga. No, I fuck with what he's saying. Like, don't be afraid because you're in a group of niggas. This will make you a pussy. The pussy nigga can't, or the bitch that can't stand up and say, yo, I actually fuck with what he's saying. It's the coward. You want to be a part of a group. You want people to like you. You want to fucking be a part of the following, nigga. You're in a cult. A cult of liars. A cult of... You won't even be real with your family. You're scared to be able to be the outcast. You're scared. Stop being fucking scared, pussy. Pick up your fucking balls and tell people I agree with this nigga. And I don't give a fuck what y'all niggas don't like me or not, nigga. Fuck it. I go do my own thing. And that's the nigga that's gonna change this shit. And you're gonna be ahead of all of these niggas. So when it all fall down, you're gonna be advanced. And the bitch that fuck with a nigga like me, she already did. You want people to be your friend. You want people not to like you. You don't like the idea of people calling you up and saying, yo, what the fuck wrong with you? How the fuck you? And turning on you. You're scared. You're a pussy. Stop being a fucking pussy and just say you agree with this shit. Period. I'm giving you permission. I love myself. Peace.